Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question we are taking this up from the topic of limits. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us let S K is equal to sum of R is equal to one to K tan inverse of six raised to R upon 2 raised to 2r plus 1 plus 3 raised to 2r plus 1. So that is the entire thing given to us. And we have been asked to find limit k tends to infinity into sk. It is equal to what? And if I talk about the options given to us, the options are cot inverse of 3 by 2. Second option pi by 2, third option, tan inverse of 3, and the last option given to us is tan inverse of 3. So let's figure out which one of the answers is the correct answer for the value of the limit here. So if I try to simplify my sk first, let's do that. Summation of r equal to 1 to k, you have tan inverse of 6 raised to r upon raised to 2r plus 1 plus 3 raised to 2r plus 1. So what I can do here is if I take 2 raised to 2r plus 1 if I take it common let's see what I have. So r equal to 1 to k you get tan inverse of 6 raised to r. So if I adjust your 3 and 2 in the numerator also I know 6 raised to r is multiplied with nothing means it is 1. So I can write that as 3 minus 2. So I'm just writing that 1 which is multiplied with 6 raised to r as 3 minus 2. That is whole thing upon. Let's simplify this. From here also if I take out 2 raised to 2r plus 1 common. Let's see what I get. So if I do that. So if I take 2 raised to 2r plus 1 common from this, I get here nothing but 1 plus 3 by 2 raised to 2r plus 1. So what I am trying to do here is I am trying to make some adjustments. So we convert our tan inverse in the terms of x minus y upon 1 plus xy. So I can then simplify it. So let's do that. So if I try to do that, what I get here SK as is summation of R equal to 1 to K. Here you have 3 into 6 raised to R minus 2 into 6 raised to R upon here you get 2 raised to 2R plus 1. Here you are left with 1 plus 3 by 2 raised to 2r plus 1. 2r plus 1 I can split that as r plus r plus 1. So when you have a raised to m plus n, you can split your powers as a raised to m into a raised to n. So if I use the idea of exponents here, I can use that in the next step. Here as r into r plus 1. So 3 by 2 raised to r into 3 by 2 raised to so you get this entire thing. Now if I just separate this r equal to 1 to k. So I have got the numerator or sorry the denominator in the form 1 plus x into y. Just I need to get eliminated by this term there is 2 raised to 2r plus 1. Let's do that. So what I can write here is 3 into 3 raised to r into 2 raised to r upon 2 raised to 2r plus 1. So you get this here. Here you are getting minus 2, 3 raised to r into 2 raised to r upon 2 raised to 2 r. So you get this entire thing. Now let's just solve it. Here you are left with, I have taken 2 raised to 2 r plus 1 which was there in the denominator. I have taken it up and divided my numerator by 2 raised to 2 r plus 1 both sides. So you are just left with 1 plus 3 by 2 raised to r plus 1 and 3 by 2 raised to r. Now let's just solve it. Here you had that as tan inverse. We have which that 
writing in the first two steps, can and use of that. And here also it is can and use of that. So if I try to simplify this now, this k becomes summation of r equal to 1 to k tan inverse denominator I have it as 1 plus 3 by 2 r plus 1 into 3 by 2 so you have it same now let's just talk about the numerator so here you have 3 same as the base that makes it 3 raised to r plus 1 3 raised to r plus 1 upon. Here you have 2 raised to 2r plus 1. If you take this 2 raised to r also in the denominator, it becomes minus r. So 2r plus 1 and minus r, that is r plus 1. So 2 raised to r plus 1 minus. Here you are left with 3 raised to r as it is upon. Here you are getting 2r plus 1. Minus r, so r plus 1, and here nothing is there means 1. So you take that down also, r plus 1 minus 1. So you get r. So what you're getting is that is definitely now adjusted and simplified. That is tan and inverse. You're getting here 3 by 2, r plus 1, minus 3 by 2, r, upon 1 plus 3 by 2 raised to r plus 1 into so you have this entirely now, tan inverse of x minus y upon x plus y. So if I write that form, tan inverse of x minus y upon 1 plus x, y, that is your expansion for tan inverse of x minus tan inverse of y. So you get this entire expression. So basically, sk becomes summation r equal to 1 to k tan inverse of 3 by 2 raised to r plus 1 minus 3 by 2 tan inverse of 3 by 2 raised to Now if I just put on putting the values of r from 1 to k, your value of sk becomes basically tan inverse of 3 by 2, if I put r as 1, you get tan inverse of 3 by 2 square and Minus tan inverse of 3 by 2 raised to 1 plus tan inverse of 3 by 2 raised to 3 minus tan inverse of 3 by 2 square. Then if I put r as 3, I get that as tan inverse of 3 by 2 raised to 4 minus tan inverse of 3 by 2 raised to 3. Further, get all the values, then you put r as k minus 1, so k minus 1 plus 1, so makes it k. So you put r as k minus 1, you get tan inverse of 3 by 2 raised to k minus tan inverse of 3 by 2 raised to minus 1. And the last term you get here when you put r as k, that is tan inverse of k plus 1 minus tan inverse of 3 by 2 So here you do not get tan inverse of k by plus 1, it is, you get tan inverse of 3 by 2 raised to k plus 1. So if I see this now, there is a pattern that is being formed. Here you have tan inverse of 3 by 2 square, here you have minus of that same term. So every such term is getting cancelled here. 3 and 3 also gets cancelled, 4 would be there, 5 would be there, 6, 7, 8, 9. k minus 1 would also get cancelled with that. Then you have k also getting cancelled. So you will be getting cancelled with all of the terms apart from these two terms. So your sk finally becomes tan inverse of 3 by 2 raised to k plus 1 minus tan inverse of 3 by 2 raised to 1. That is tan inverse of 3 by 2. Now, if I just apply, we need to apply the limit also for this sk with k tends to infinity. So, if I put k tends to infinity here, I get this limit k tends to infinity sk becomes limit k tends to infinity tan inverse of 3 by 2 raised to k plus 1 
minus limit k tends to infinity tan inverse of k. So I know if I put k as infinity, it becomes tan inverse of 3 by 2 raised to infinity, which will turn out at the end infinite value. So that's undetermined, so tan inverse of infinity minus here it is free from the expression of k, so I can write that as tan inverse of so tan inverse of infinity that we know it is pi by 2. So I just apply the idea pi by 2 minus tan by 2. So I get the value of the limit here. K tends to infinity is k. It is equal to pi by 2 minus tan inverse of theta. That is nothing but cot inverse of k. That is 3. So I get the answer for the question which is asked to us. And that matches if you see the option A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of finding the limits for such expressions where summation is used. So first we figured out the summation. We tried to manipulate it and convert it into a simplified form so I can use the idea tan inverse of x minus y upon 1 plus x y. So I wrote that as tan inverse x minus tan inverse y. Once I got that in the form, I just put all the values of r from 1 to k. I observed the pattern where all the terms were getting cancelled except the two of them. So I got sk as difference between these two terms. Then I just applied the limits where k tends to infinity. So you get this as tan inverse of infinity that is pi by 2. Here you get tan inverse of 3 by 2. So pi by 2 minus tan inverse of 3 by 2, that gives you coordinates of 3 by 2. And that matches with option A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question, which deals with the ideas of using the limits here. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11, 12, as well as JWE. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of the questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.